Hello friends, myself Gaurav Jagdish Patak and today we are starting a new topic in Engineering Thermodynamics. The name of the topic is Principles of Basics in Steam Generators. The equipment used to produce or to transfer the steam is called the steam generators. And what is the principle on which it works is the fluid or the water which contains into the boiler which called as a shell and the thermal energy release during the combustion of fuel which may be solid, liquid or in the gaseous form. It is transferred to the water and this converts water into the steam. It is the desired temperature and up to the moderate pressure it is on which the principle the steam generators are work. Now, what are the basic commercial uses of that particular steam which generated by the steam generator is the main use of high pressure, high temperature steam is for power generation. Heating or heating the residential and commercial building into the cold weather of the countries in Europe. Other industrial uses are sugar industries and chemical industries. Also in the agriculture and solid sterilization, wood bending, killing the insects and increase the plasticity of the material in are the somewhat applications of high pressure, high temperature steam which is generated by the steam generators. Boilers may generate the relative position and hot gases with the help of water and the hot gases may be passes through the tubes and that are surrounded by the water. Such kind of arrangement we can say as the fire tube boiler which have certain common names are horizontal return tubular boiler, locomotive firebox boiler, scotch marine and vertical tubular boiler. These are the types which are follows the head that fire tube boiler. At the same time, water tube boilers having same somewhat criteria in which water is passes through the tubes and the hot gases produces the combustion of fuel flow outside. This type of boiler are design, designated by the following common names which are invented by their scientist name and which invented this method for generation of steam that is Babcock and Wilcox boiler in which the straight but inclined tubes which are connected to the headers while as stilling boilers which is in which the multi tubular boiler having the bent tubes are used which are connected to the boiler drums or headers. Now, by inclined or straight or circular tube arrangement, it will, it will require the combustion for heating purpose and by adopting the initial methods of boiler, these are classified according to method of firing. These are Langshire boiler, locomotive boilers and scotch boilers. Externally fire boilers are the furnace in which it provides outside or under the boiler. It is an advantage that the furnace is the simple or constructed and can be easily be enlarged. And so when it is required, this method of firing is used in Babcock and Wilcox boiler. Now, what are the pressure of steam is generated in particular boiler generations? These are the high pressure boilers which produces up to 80 bars and above, they are called high pressure boilers, while as the boilers which produces less than 80 bar, these are called low pressure boilers. Now, the method of circulation of water in the both the conditions is required, whether it is surrounded by the tube or whether the water is passes through the tube, then the pressure, if any external pressure or source of force is required for circulation of water, then this kind of water circulation boilers are called force circulated method. While as the natural circulation type is adopted, then such kind of 
what, uh, boilers are said to be natural circulation method type boilers. Land boilers, portable boilers and mobile boilers are the some what types of this kind of boiler and the names of there are self explanatory. In the mobile boiler, the boilers are fitted on mobile carriage which are called mobile boilers that is they are mostly required in marine time that is on ships they are used for steam generation such kind of boilers are we can say as a mobile boilers while as the portable boilers in which they can be readily dismantled and easily carried out from one side to another side that kind of boilers are said to be portable boilers. The another type into the steam generator is once through the boilers. In this type, the boilers have no circulation of water takes place. That is, the feed water leaves the tubes and steam is on generation of container is readily collected. These kind of boilers are called once through boilers. Benson invented such kind of in, uh, method for steam generation. So, these kind of boilers we can say the Benson boilers and position and according to number of drums. The single or multi drums may be positioned longitudinally or crosswise then these, these boilers are divided on the basis of position of drums. Design of gas, flue gases and passage opening for particular boilers is single pass, return pass and multi pass. Natural and artificial draughts are the two defining properties for the boilers that is when the fuel burns into the furnace of boiler with the circulation of air the draught is named as natural draught while as in artificial draught when air is forced by means of force fan or blower then these kind of draughts are named as artificial draught this is all about the boilers we study the next topic in another video. Thank you friends. Thank you very much.